हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एच डी ओ रायन वी आर स्टडिंग अकाउंटेंसी फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम टी एस गेरेवाल टेक्स्ट बुक टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एडिशन अकाउंटिंग फॉर पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स चैप्टर टू गुडविल नेचर एंड वैल्यूएशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी कैलकुलेशन ऑफ गुडविल बाय सुपर प्रॉफिट मेथड वेन पास्ट एडजस्टमेंट्स आर मेड सो लेट एस सी सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टेक्सट बुक क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एवरेज प्रॉफिट अर्न बाय अ फर्म इज रुपीज वन लैख विच इंक्लूड्स अंडर वैल्यूएशन ऑफ स्टॉक ऑफ रुपीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड एंड एन ऑन एन एवरेज बेसिस द कैपिटल इन्वेस्टेड इन द बिजनेस इज रुपीज सिक्स लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड द नॉर्मल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न इज फाइव परसेंटेज कैलकुलेट गुडविल ऑफ द फर्म ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फाइव टाइम्स द सुपर प्रॉफिट सो लेट एस सी द सोल्यूशन So solution twenty one, we will see. Average profit is given to us. Average profit is given to us rupees one lakh. And we will add under valuation of stock. Stock that is forty thousand. Under valued. Undervalued stock means the stock is written less on the credit side of trading account, and as a result, our gross profit is reduced. So when we correct this, our closing stock on the credit side of trading and loss trading account will be increased. As a result, the gross profit will increase. So the average profit has to increase. For that reason, we have to add back undervalued stock, and you see, it is not opening stock. it is the closing stock because valuation of stock is done on the last day of the financial year and therefore closing stock has been undervalued which means the profit is reduced by 40000 and therefore the average profit now after correction will be 140000 now let us calculate normal profit normal profit is equal to capital employed multiplied by rate so capital employed is given here 6 lakh 30000 in the question and rate of return is 5 percentage so our normal profit is rupees 31500 so this is our normal profit and this is our actual profit the difference between these two will be our super profit so super profit is equal to super profit is equal to actual profit that is actual average profit minus normal profit one lakh 40000 minus 31500 so our super profit is rupees 1 lakh 8500 when you subtract this you get this amount now in the question it is asked that goodwill is to be calculated five times the super profit so goodwill is equal to 1,8500 that is super profit multiplied by 5 which is equal to rupees 5,42500 so this is the answer Now let us see question number twenty-two. Average profit earned by a firm is rupees seven lakh fifty thousand, which includes overvaluation of stock of rupees thirty thousand on an average basis. Now there is an overvaluation of closing stock, due to which, because it is overvalued, due to which our profit has increased by the overvalued amount that is thirty thousand. The capital invested in the business is rupees forty-two lakh, and the normal rate of return is fifteen percentage. Calculate goodwill of the firm on the basis of three times the super profit. So let us see the solution for this. So solution twenty-two, we will see. We are given with uh, nor average profit. Average profit given in the question is rupees seven lakh fifty thousand. 
this profit is achieved by the firm uh, with over valuation of stock so we will subtract stock that is overvalued and this stock is overvalued by amount rupees 30000 because the stock is overvalued that is closing stock is overvalued the gross profit is increased by 30000 the overvalued amount because it is shown on the credit side of trading account fine when the credit side of trading account is heavy or more in amount the gross profit is is affected by this so when the stock is overvalued the gross profit is overvalued so is the net profit so our average profit has increased because of overvaluation of stock so we will subtract it and now the normal average profit is rupees 7 lakh 20000 now we will calculate normal profit normal profit as given capital employed multiplied by rate and capital employed in the question is rupees 42 lakh and rate is 15 percentage as given in the question so our normal profit is rupees 6 lakh 30000 now super profit is to be calculated by comparing the actual profit with the normal profit normal profit is the and is the profit which the industry or the for, uh, in the market the returns are on their investments so that is 6 lakh 30000 so super profit super profit is actual average profit minus normal profit that is equal to rupees 7 lakh 20000 minus 6 lakh 30000 which is equal to rupees 90000 now based on this super profit goodwill is calculated goodwill is equal to it is said in the question that three times the super profit so multiply the super profit with three that is equal to rupees 2 lakh 70000 it means the firm is expecting that a super profit of 90000 could be earned by the firm in the next 3 years so that is what the goodwill is and the uh, this number of years of purchase or the number of times the super profit is to be multiplied to calculate goodwill it varies from time to time it varies from enterprise to enterprise it is the ability of the firm to assess, to assess the future and future is always uncertain so therefore not a big number of years can be added multiplied here small number of years can be assessed so we are expecting that the same super profit will be earned in the coming 3 years based on that the goodwill uh, the goodwill of the firm is rupees 2 lakh 70000 that is our answer Now let us see question number twenty-three. Ayub and Amit are partners in a firm, and they admit Jaspal into partnership with effect in force first April two thousand twenty-three. They agreed to value goodwill at three years purchase of super profit method, for which they decided to decided to average profit of last five years. The profits for the last five years were. Now, when a new partner is admitted. there is a condition or situation in which the firm has to calculate goodwill due to this reason on jaspal's admission to the firm goodwill is to be calculated at 3 years purchase of super profit now 5 years profit is given to us and for the year ended 31st march 2019 profit is rupees 1 lakh 50000 2020 lakh 80000 2021 rupees 1 lakh but here there is some past adjustments including abnormal loss of rupees 1 lakh after charging this abnormal loss the profit is rupees 1 lakh so what is the nature of this abnormal loss it will not be happening every year and therefore we have to eliminate this abnormal loss to get a normal profit this particular 
for this particular year. So we will add back this. Now the profit of the year 2021 will become 2 lakh. That is 1 lakh plus 1 lakh. For profit for 31st March 2022 is rupees 2 lakh 60 thousand including abnormal gain or profit of rupees 40 thousand. Now the here in this 2 lakh 60 thousand there is an abnormal gain of rupees 40 thousand which is not normal in nature. It means it may not happen every year and it is not generated out of uh, out of the regular course of business. It may be something related to purchase of an uh, sale of an old asset or it may be related to some interest or uh, interest on investment or some extraordinary profit. Fine. So we need to eliminate this from the year's net profit so that a normal profit can be calculated based on which goodwill can be ascertained because this is a false false figure if we take these two it will not give us the correct average profit which may lead to wrong calculation of goodwill so we to in order to normalize this this 40000 is to be subtracted from rupees 260000 2023 it is 240000 the firm has a total asset of rupees 20 lakh and outside liabilities of rupees 5 lakh as on that date normal rate of return in similar business is 10 percentage so from these assets and liabilities we will calculate capital employed when you subtract uh, outsiders liabilities from total assets you get capital employed that's very easy and 10 percentage of it will be normal profit so let us calculate this so solution 23 5 years profits are given to us in the year 2021 there is a profit of rupees 1 lakh after abnormal loss so we will add back abnormal loss fine because when you eliminate abnormal loss it the net profit will increase for the particular year so as a result it is 2 lakh rupees for the respective year and in the year 2022, there is a profit of rupees 2 lakh 60 thousand after taking into consideration abnormal profit of rupees 40 thousand. So this profit has to be eliminated from the current year's profit and our normal profit for the year will be rupees 2 lakh 20 thousand. And for the year 2023, it is given 2 lakh 40 thousand, which is a normal profit for the year. Now, when you add this five years profit, it is nine lakh ninety thousand. Now, average profit is equal to nine lakh ninety thousand divided by one, two, three, four, five. Five years profit it is. When you divide it by five, you get rupees one lakh ninety eight thousand. Now, in order to calculate super profit, let us calculate normal profit normal profit is equal to capital employed multiplied by rate now capital employed is not directly given in the question so we need to calculate capital employed by subtracting outsiders liabilities from total assets it is 20 lakh given you see 20 lakh is the total asset and 5 lakh is the outsider's liabilities. Now when you subtract this, you get 15 lakh. So that this 15 lakh is capital employed and rate of return is 10 percentage. So our normal profit is how much? 15 lakhs 10 percentage will be rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand. Now average profit and normal profit. When you compare this, you get super profit. So super profit is rupees 48,000. Now based on this super profit, we have to calculate goodwill as suggested in the question. It says that three years purchase of super profit. So goodwill is equal to super profit into three. It means the firm is expecting that the same super profit it will generate in the next three years. So super profit is 48,000 multiplied by three and our answer is rupees 1,44,000. So this is the answer and goodwill for the firm is rupees 1,44,000. I hope you have watched the full video without skipping it.
and you have got the concept very clearly despite this if you are having any doubt then please put it in the comment section do like it subscribe it and share the video with your friends thank you so much for watching this video